No man can eat 50 eggs. Think about living in Santa Carla, I never could stomach. All the damn vampires. So here it is, Cool Hand Luke from 1967. One of my favourite movies of all time. Hidden gem, because it is an old movie, right the way back from 1967. Paul Newman starring as Cool Hand Luke, a man who does not follow the rules, starts it off, he cuts all the heads off these parking meters and gets sent to prison and he is joining the chain gang. <coughs> So Luke is locked up in prison. He doesn't give a shit, basically. All he can think about is his own rules. He doesn't want to follow their rules. And he's always trying to escape. And some of this leads to comical events. Really, really funny. There are no fences here. It is what is known as the gun line. If you watch a movie called Life with Eddie Murphy in, that sort of tries to take the piss out of this movie. That's where it gets a lot of its content from, is this movie. And it's called The Gun Line. Anybody who goes past the gun line, you try to escape, basically, he's going to kill you. Going to the toilet here, boy. Going to the toilet. Picking up here, boy. 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 I remember when I was growing up, maybe it was about 10 years old or something, I'd maybe watch this. And I used to think Paul Newman was the coolest man on the face of the earth. Just off watching this movie, Cool Hand Luke. It was probably, obviously, actors, probably between him and Clint Eastwood, who were the, the coolest ones, you know what I mean? Cool, cool. But because of this movie, Cool Hand Luke, I used to just look at him in awe and just think, wow, that, that, that's a guy. When, you do obviously don't want to go to prison when you're older. But that's the coolness you want to aspire to be. scenes in this movie holy shit the whole movie's notable so uh, notable scenes you've got obviously the road digger incident where they're tarmacking the road and they're all flying through flying flying that's a brilliant scene another brilliant scene is one of the most iconic lines in cinematic history what we've got here is failure to communicate that's from one of the times when he tries to escape, they bring him back and they put him in those old clankety clanks. Shut him down and he comes out with that line, what we've got here is failure to communicate. Some people you just can't reach. He wants it, he gets it. I don't know how good that sounds. That's my best impersonation of it anyway. But you've probably heard that, even if you haven't watched the movie, you've probably heard that. Maybe it's on Guns N the Guns N' Roses soundtrack. It's on one of the Guns N' Roses songs. Another notable scene is... No man can eat 50 eggs. Cool hand Luke. He can eat 50 eggs. I reckon I can eat 50 eggs. Like. It's playing outside. I reckon I can eat 50 eggs. Go for it. Got my bowl of 50 eggs right here. Here we go. Slow down. Long road. Yeah. Well, man won't we'll see. Let's get it. Let's break it off. Yeah. Go. Yeah. 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 Y
No hard. Yeah. What are you racing for? Me. Give it to us. Do that shovel like a wish it's full. You never stop listening to them clinking. Because they're going to remind you of what I've been saying. Or your own good. We should stop being so good to me, Captain. Don't you ever talk that way to me. Never! Never! we've got here is failure to communicate. Some men you just can't reach. So you get what we had here last week, which is the way he wants. Well, he gets it. Also, when they tried to break Luke down, they get him digging a hole, filling the hole back up, 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 until he's just absolutely exhausted. He's doing it for hours and hours and hours that no man should be able to do. But cool hand, Luke, it's just going, just keeps going. That's why it's so cool. What's all this dirt doing? And obviously all his escape attempts, all the little funny bits that's in his escape attempts, especially the bit where he's got the sniffer dogs after him and he puts loads of pepper on the floor and the dogs go sniffing the pepper. Absolutely brilliant. Excellent acting. Scenes in this, absolutely amazing. Brilliant score as well. If you have not seen Cool Hand Luke from 1967, I can't ask you enough just to go and check out this movie. Mine is the DVD. I don't know where I put it. I've lost it. I've lost it. It's kicking around somewhere. But if you haven't seen it, definitely need to be checking it out. You smile. Smile. <laughs> that's right. You know, that, uh, that Luke smile is got it on his face right to the very end. Hell, yeah, if they didn't know it for, they could tell right then that they weren't ever going to beat him. <laughs> that old Luke smile. <laughs> old Luke. He was some boy. Cool Aunt Luke L. He's a natural born world shaker. So that is Paul Newman's Cool Hand Luke. 1967. The diamond in the rough. The hidden gem. You haven't seen it get it watched i'm mark and this is for the love of movies thanks very much and goodbye it's yourself a sweetener dog rushed in rhinestone setting on pedestal for babylon shell going 98 scary cause i got the virgin man like an angel on your shoulder see and if you ever get hurt, and you feel that you're going down, this little angel is going to whisper in your ear. He's going to say, get up, you son of a bitch, because Mickey loves you.